hello guys welcome to another video on the code and youtube channel and to this video i'll be showing us how we can set up a real project this will be done using webpack and babel and i'll be showing us the minimalistic way possible we can set up a real project now webpack is used to compile javascript modules while babel on the other hand is used for backwards compatibility in javascript that is it enables javascript code old javascript code to run in the browser now in our process we can create a folder and in this folder you can set up i create this files um i have here you have the index.html file the app.js file the index.js file the webpack.config.js file the dot git ignore file and then the dot barber lc file so these files are in the root of the folder so i expect you to have done the same now the next thing you need to do is to generate an npm package now this will also be done in the root of the project so what we can do to generate that is to run npm init with the dash y flag to give us a boiler plate instead of having us set up set it up manually to generate the package.json for us as you can see here so straight up going back into the other files we created earlier in the index of the html file you can generate a boiler plate by and then change the title let's change it to hello world and then in here we are going to have a div which we'll call later so this div is going to have an id we'll make reference to it later so you can give it an id of app and then the next thing is to go to the index.htm index.js file here is the entry point of our application so what we can set up here is to import react which we haven't installed yet that's gonna be the last step we're gonna be um, doing so we're gonna import react from react we're gonna import react um, from react dash dom and then lastly we're gonna import our app from forward slash app do react dom this enables the what did react go dom does basically is it enables us render our react code in the browser so we should also recall we haven't created the app dot um app dot js file we haven't we haven't um written the code for that so that will be the next step we'll be doing so we we'll just run document does get element by id which is in the base of our app so that is done so we can now go to the app dot js so inside the app dot js we can also generate a boilerplate react project a file rather so with this this is going to be what is going to be loaded in the browser so let's just give it an h2 and say react without the cli so let me save everything here the next thing we need to do is go to the babel rc file so in the babel rc file you can set up the preset so to do that we can just create an object and then call the preset and we have an array so in this array we are going to have the art babel slash preset dash emv and also here yeah, we're gonna have as babel slash preset dash react okay one more thing in the git signal file we can just have what we have what we call the node modules which will be generating later when we start installing some packages so the final thing is in the web pack web pack dot config dot js file so in this file i'll be pasting a boilerplate code which you'll find in the github because this code is going to be pushed to github so what this does basically is in here we have an output part which is for slash this this is when we compile the code is going to be uploaded in this particular directory then our current mode is development mode the port is going to run on port 3000 and then we have a module which consists of some rules and one of them includes that our 
file should be able to run JavaScript and JSX and also to exclude the node modules. And then in the plugins here, normally there is a plugin which we also install. This plugin by default generates a index.html file, but because we already have a template already, so we reference the each index of this statement we have here in this particular uh, template of the webpack.config file. So that's all we need in terms of the code to run this application. So the next thing we need to do is just to install all the needed dependencies. So the first set of dependencies I'm going to install is called React and React DOM. So let's install that. Up next is the webpack webpack dev server and also the webpack cli notice i have a double slash save dash dev this is going to save it in the dev dependencies and finally what we're going to install is the dependencies for babel which consists of babel presets babel loader and the html webpack plugin which i told you earlier this also ends with the double dash save dash dev flag. And with all the dependencies installed, let's set up our package.json file to run this application. So I can just change this test to start and then the following command here is going to be cleaned up and then we're going to have webpack serve dash dash open flag for it to open and then we have the dash dash auth flag to have the auth reload implemented. So what this means is when the npm command is run for the app to open in the browser, it opens by default like automatically and then when we make changes it should lose automatically so let's save that and then start the server npm start let's see the results of this yeah as you can see our app now runs on the browser so what i'm going to do is to put the code to this boilerplate in GitHub probably instead of using create react app all the time you might want to use um webpack and babel so that's it for this video hope you're able to learn something new and i will see you in the next one take care bye guys